Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we're talking about FC25 and specifically the heroes. EA just released 14 new heroes that are coming to this game, but they're doing something different this year. And there's some changes coming to these cards because not only are we getting a hero to start the game that we'll be able to use with our gold squad as we start FC25 Ultimate Team, but that hero is also going to upgrade and including some of the big names like Eden Hazard, Tim Howard, Guti, Mykon. There are some big names being introduced here and I'm really excited to see how EA implement heroes throughout the rest of the year, but it's also making us ask some questions. What's happening with base heroes? Are the ratings going lower based off how these cards look? And how is EA going to make heroes better during FC25? Because in FC24, they just fell behind the curve too quickly. We're going to talk about all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for FC25, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Firstly, let's go straight to the big news. It is this. Yesterday, EA released a video teasing 14 new dynamic, yes, dynamic live and upgrading heroes coming to FC25. In the trailer here, it's very kind of hero-esque, right? It feels like a play on the Marvel heroes from FIFA 23, kind of the Champions League heroes last year in FC 24, but definitely the Marvel type of vibe where the heroes are kind of heroes with abilities and power up type of looking vibes here. You've got Tim Howard, of course, you had Eden Hazard. He is definitely the headliner of these new heroes coming to FC 25. I'm personally very excited for Tim Howard. You've got Georges here from PSG and Leon in the women's deal in Arkema. And you've got so many other cards that honestly, could be pretty great off of the start. Now, again, this is my con. I'm really excited for my con. He looks like a really cracked card. You can see him here, like, doing a cross. Probably going to have, like, whipped pass plus or incisive pass for sure based on that. And you saw there how the cards have two versions. That's what I want to talk about today because these are the heroes that we will have from the start of the game. And this is something... I don't think they've ever done before, guys, because in previous years, we've gotten the Marvel heroes or the Champions League heroes a couple months down the line from a pre-order bonus. This year, like it said on that uh, image and like it says in the pre-order bonuses, you're getting a hero card at the start of the game, right? That's what this text says. Pre-order FC25 by August 20th, so time's running out if you haven't, uh, to get an ultimate team hero at launch that will upgrade automatically from the origin to the prime version on the 28th of November. So that's what these kind of base cartoonish looking heroes are, the origin versions of heroes. Now, is that replacing the base version? I don't think so. We'll talk about that in a second, but a bit more about this. The biggest question and the, I think the biggest talking point for a lot of this is the ratings, guys. Hazard, only an 86. A lot of people feel like he should be higher rated from the start, but I think there's a reason why some of these heroes are this low. Hamshik, 85. Tim Howard, 85. Mykon, 86. Sausage is actually the highest rated base or origin version and prime version from an 88 to a 91. You've got Stam, who is Premier League. You've got Zeroberto, who is Bundesliga. Um, again, Hamshik, Serie A, Mykon, Serie A, by the way. Those are big leagues for them. A lot of Prem inside of here, too. Carragher, you see here. You've got Yaya Toure, Blaise Matuidi, Guti, Williams, Nor, and Georges. I think Yaya Toure is kind of the odd man out with this whole set because 14 new heroes dynamically coming to the game. All of these are new except for Yaya. And that's why this one's a bit confusing because now we're questioning what is Yaya's base card going to look like because this one has been 87 rated for the past couple of years. But this version of Yaya is 85. Now, I think there's a reason, reason why these origin heroes are so low rated compared to the normal hero cards. That's because they're coming out straight away at the beginning. And think about it. EA's giving us these cards for free. You think about your starter team for the next game of FC25 and how that's going to look. We're going to be rocking around with our starter teams with like 82 rated cards and less than 80 rated cards trying to find the cheap beast like Baku. I remember using him actually at the start of FC24. We're going to be running around with cards like this. And then you're going to have one of these hero cards as well for free from the start of the game. That's going to be a huge advantage. This is not only an advantage like down the road when the cards get upgraded to the higher levels and higher rating. This is going to be an incredible advantage straight off the start. Having an 85 or 86 rated hero card in your team, maybe somebody as good as Hazard or Hamshik. Now, let's be completely honest. We're probably going to have the most pack luck for like Howard. He's going to be the most packable. Probably Nor, probably Matweedy. The 85 rated cards, they're going to be the most packable, right guys? But 
you have a chance at packing some of these. But honestly, it feels like regardless, one of these hero cards, whoever you get, is going to go boom straight in your team because it's going to be above probably any other card in your squad, especially at the beginning of the early access when we get on the game and start opening a few packs and doing SBCs and trying to build and grind up our ultimate teams, these cards are going to be far and away above what most of us have. So that's a lovely thing. I like that from the start. Now, my biggest question is with these ratings being as low as they are, how long are we going to use these cards? But to be fair, if we pre-order the game and get a card that instantly goes into our starting 11 and we use one of those cards for, let's say, a month, let's say from the end of September until the middle or end of October, you're using one of these cards because it's it's usable maybe they have a playstyle plus maybe they don't that's one thing that i'm really curious to see because with the base heroes which these are different than base heroes guys i want to make that kind of distinction clear as well base heroes are different than these origin and prime heroes think of this as like a hero promo and i honestly think this is something that i'm just thinking this is not confirmed anywhere i think this is going to be our first promo of fc25 i think that ea is going to drop these hero cards in packs on that first promo Friday. I know they're giving them out early to people who have pre-order access. That is definitely a perk, but I think these cards are going to be in packs on the first promo promo Friday of FC25, and then EA is going to start off with his promo because EA love live promos, guys. They love promos. Like, think back to the Ultimate Scream promo or so many other times, even like the Adidas Numbers Up promo where cards get released, and then at a later date, they get upgraded. EA love that sort of thing. The community loves that sort of thing. It's going to be so interesting to buy these cards if they're on the market. So that's just my tinfoil hat theory and what I'm thinking. Because also, at the start of FC24, they gave us the Champions League hero items. That was actually in November later on. But at the start start, we had one of those Nike loan cards that was given out. So that was our like free card and a team of the week. But a Nike card that was given out at the beginning of the game, and that was the first promo. That's just kind of me putting two and two together from last year and guessing. So I'm guessing that this is going to be our first promo of FC25. I could be wrong, but that's just a guess because EA love lab cards. And especially once these get closer to their upgrades, there's going to be a lot of hype for them. Now, back to the base hero conversation because we have had these base heroes that we all know as like the lowest rated version of heroes from the start of the year. Now, that's changing with these new origin heroes because like we mentioned, Yaya Toure is an 85 rated on his origin version. And this is a base 87 rated Yaya Toure. So what's the difference? Well, for all of the heroes that are not included in this promo, basically all the other existing heroes in the game, we're talking Vincent Company, we're talking Smolarek, we're talking Rickon, Forlan, Cordoba, Okocha, all of these cards, I still think they're going to be in the game, probably with their same ratings, their same stats, and hopefully same play style pluses. Now, EA maybe is going to adjust some of the ratings this year so that they can involve more heroes and promos. Maybe that's just a thought, but I would imagine that it's going to be pretty close. But the interesting thing that is changing about base heroes this year is we're not going to be having these dynamic images on these cards. Yes, it has been leaked. Now, this is just a leak. It is not confirmed for sure. It is just a leak. But inside of screenshots, people have found somewhere, somehow, I don't know if this is the beta or if this has been leaked from somewhere else. But these are the screenshots of the real base hero cards. Notice the ratings are higher, right? 89 Ginola, that matches this card in FC24. I believe that all of these cards are the exact rating as FC24 in whatever beta or screenshot this is from because it's probably just a test. But the thing that's different is the dynamic images or the clean face shots, right? We're going from base heroes having blurry dynamic images, which, yes, we're cool to an extent, but like... Also, the blurriness, I think, took a little bit away from the visual aspect of the card. I think now after looking at this and thinking about it, after seeing these and this leak, I kind of vibe with this, to be completely honest. It gives me kind of like base icon vibes. Um, not necessarily that all of these pictures and these headshots of these players are from their younger days in their career necessarily, but I kind of vibe with it because there it feels like you have a place to go upward and you have a place to go up with the car designs and the quality and the hype with that. But then also with dynamic images, maybe that look a little bit more cleaner because other dynamic images on hero cards this year, like if we go to the Golazos, like those look amazing. You look at like Robbie Heen and Colaire and Berbatov, those are crisp HD photos that look awesome. But then you have the base versions that look very, I won't want to say historic, but they just look, they just look grainy and they look kind of uh, unfiltered. I don't know what what that is. It just doesn't look good. I think this looks way better. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. But 
the thing I want to get to is these base heroes will be in packs normally, I believe, like every single year at the start of the year because these are higher rated and they're kind of more like your chase hero cards, right? So you're still going to have an 88 rated Tevez that'll be in packs off the start of the year or an 88 rated Wesley Schneider, you know, the 89 rated Abedi Pele and Ginola. You're still going to have this Ginola that will be in the game. I just think that only the brand new heroes plus Yaya will be getting the origin cards that will upgrade to the prime. So again, think of this as like a hero promo and these are the regular base heroes. Now the question I have is specifically for Yaya, is Yaya gonna have a base card in packs or is he just gonna have his origin? That's one question I do have. And I would imagine that all of the new heroes that are being added also have base versions too and they just might not be in packs during this promo if they're gonna do it as a promo. Uh, and then they'll come into the game at a later date. So like Hazard's 86 for his origin version and 90 for this one, but Hazard's base hero card in the game could be 87, could be 88, maybe even 89. You know what I'm saying? There could be that sort of thing still with these hero cards. That is yet to be seen and what the base ratings will be. Because again, it's a bit confusing. These almost feel like they're base cards, but they're not. You have the Origin, which is the low-rated cartoonish one. You've got the Prime, which is like the upgraded marvel looking one and then you have the base which should be somewhere in between for some of these cards we would think so that's kind of the thought process behind these heroes again let's talk about the upgrades now the, they get upgraded to their bigger better versions in november which if you remember november as we even just looked at for fc24 that is when we had the UEFA men's and women's hero cards given out last year. There's always a November time frame where EA likes to give out new boosted heroes, kind of like a, a hero boost promo, right? And this was it last year. That is the exact same time we're going to be getting the higher rated versions of the Hamshik, the Hazard, all of these cards in November. They will just be automatically upgraded to those versions. Now, it's really interesting to think about how will these heroes be boosted at that point? Will they get playstyle plus boost. These cards don't show any playstyle pluses. Could they have them? They could. I, I would imagine that the 85 and 86 rated base versions do not have a playstyle plus. Let's be completely honest. If EA is giving these out, that would make them probably too overpowered and it wouldn't create enough of a gap between the regular base heroes and these origin heroes. So I'm going to guess that all of these 85, 86, and the 88 sausage do not have playstyle pluses but that will be a part of the upgrade that we get when they go to a 90 rated card in November. I would imagine Hazard will get a playstyle plus, Hamshik will get a playstyle plus, because if you think about it, it's all going to come down to how good the upgrade is. Like we look at these origin cards, like if you're packing Zay Roberto, you might use him in your team for a month, and then after that he's going to fall off. But then when this upgrade comes back from an 86 to an 89, if he gets a playstyle plus, depending on where we're at in the year, I'm pretty sure that all of these cards on the UEFA Champions League side of things had a playstyle plus and some of their base heroes did but some of these cards had different and better playstyle pluses compared to their base version so that's going to be the really interesting thing with the upgrades is see how good of a playstyle plus EA is going to give them and how big of a stat boost too I mean it already looks pretty substantial from an 86 to a 90 for hazard from an 86 to an 89 basically all of them are going to at least 88 so you're at least getting a plus two some of them getting a plus three and that'll be part of the hype of who you pack straight off of the bat this year with your pre-order pack if you get somebody like I mean Matuidi gets a plus three or like Guti only gets a plus two but his card still could end up being cracked. So I think the upgrade is really going to depend on how big of a boost they give the stats and the play style pluses. But uh, hopefully it just, you know, that would be so fun. You think about it from the perspective of, oh, I packed Hazard in the early game and I used him for a month and a half and then he kind of fell behind the curve. Something else came out. New cards came out and he got pushed back. But then boom, this Hazard's right back into your team after he gets upgraded, gets a cool dynamic image and a play style plus. That's the cool part about this promo and the beginning of the game here and the way they're changing heroes that I actually think will be pretty cool. Now, I do think the concept is good, but I think I want to talk about heroes a little bit just as a whole because heroes, as we think about them, they've kind of always lived below the level of icons. Let's be completely honest. And really, I think about hero player picks and the way they ran heroes and upgraded them throughout the year of FC24 and Heroes just fell behind too fast. Like the Champions League Hero cards, those were those were great. Those were awesome. We enjoyed that promo. But then after that, like, man, Heroes really slowed down. I feel like we didn't have enough promos in the middle part of the year that included the Heroes. I'm trying to find some other versions. Triple Threat Heroes. Like, 
you had Ginola in this and you had Govu and Morientes. Like there were a couple of good ones, but it just felt like we didn't have enough promos that incorporated heroes to keep them all progressing with the power curve at the same time. So they just felt like they fell behind. I think that would be a very common sentiment uh, with a lot of you guys. In the second half of the year, right, we had Fantasy, we had Golazo, and those were great. It was the first half of the year that was pretty tough for the hero cards. Now I understand EA, Probably don't want to release heroes and icons in part of every single promo, and I understand that. But I think they maybe need to be trickled in just a little bit more because it felt like, especially towards the middle to end the part of the year, when we were doing icon picks and hero picks, the icon picks felt worth it until they started to fall off as well. But the hero picks, we were like saying, nah, these are absolutely terrible every week because you were doing hero player picks for cards that were released three months ago. And that was like the best version. You're like, I don't want to do a player pick for a hero in March that's going to give me a Champions League hero that was released in November. Like that didn't make sense. We were at two, almost three playstyle pluses at that point. I think we were still at two, actually. These cards only had one and their stats were just kind of below the power curve, like significantly. So that's my biggest thing with heroes this year and icons too. I hope that they just drop enough of them and continually release them with the power curve to make them hype. And the other way I think they can do that is we love the Golasso promo. The Golasso was slowly becoming one of the staple promos of FC uh, and FIFA because it started out last year with Trophy Titans. It was Golazo uh, in FC 24. And whatever it's going to be this year, like this promo always slaps, guys. Giving icons and heroes packability, um, like it seems impossible almost, is the really cool, unique part about this. But also, you know, the, the upper version, the lower version, right, with the Colaire and stuff like that, that's kind of cool. But what it also does is it takes wherever the heroes are at. Like some cards had some other versions like fantasy heroes, but the ones that didn't have them were down here. So so it really kind of just leveled the playing field and brought heroes back into the meta, especially for the ones that had not been used in a long time. Berbatov. I didn't use Berbatov at all last year until this one came out, and that was actually a sick card. Viali was a cracked card. His finishing was insane. Sure, Ariel Plus and a 5'11 player was kind of like whatever, but that was a cracked card. This Robbie Keane was an insane Premier League striker. He was so cheap, right? It was the packability of the Golazo cards, and then also just raising the power curve of the heroes. I think if EA did a Golazo type promo earlier on in the year, like let's say right before team of the year maybe that would take a little bit of hype away from team of the year but like if they did that in the first half of the year and then they did it again right before team of the season kind of like we have with Golazo, i think that would just aid in a lot of the hype with heroes and make especially the hero upgrade packs and player picks feel a little bit more hype so this change Honestly, the more that I think about it actually excites me. And I know there's a whole big conversation around Hazard should be an icon, not a hero. And some of the other ratings for these cards, I totally understand and entertain those conversations because at the end of the day, it's ratings and we all have different perspectives and opinions on what we think players should be rated on in this game. But I think this change... I think it's going to be good. I really do. Uh, because when have they ever given us a hero straight off the bat? Like this... This pre-order deal, like, to be fair, is pretty solid, to be honest. To get a hero like that that's going to give you a really good benefit at the beginning stage of the game is pretty crazy. And the fact that it gets upgraded too is going to be good. I just think it's too good to be true that only guys who order the pre-order the game, only those of us who pre-order the game are going to be able to get these cards. I think it's going to be released as a promo. That's just my thought process. We'll see if that comes true. But I like the idea of it. And I like the thought that we can get a card, be ahead at the start of the game, and then get an upgrade later on. And I'm really curious to see how they upgrade the heroes throughout the start of the year. So that's kind of my thought process there. I'm really excited for the Tim Howard. I've been building a USA team, and there's no freaking goalkeeper. My USA guys will know. Tim Howard is going to change the game for USA squad building. So that's kind of my thoughts on heroes at the moment. Like, you look at my team. Do I have any heroes on my team right now? No. Do I have any heroes on the bench? Donovan, that's it for the USA vibes. Like, man, heroes this year, they just fell behind the curve a little bit. I know icons are always going to be a little bit more prestigious, but I hope that heroes can, you know, up their ante a little bit. And it looks like this start, especially in the beginning of the game, you're going to see a lot of those hero cards running around. So let me know down below your comments in the situation and what you think about it and how you're excited to see or use one of these new heroes in FC 25. But that's going to be the video for me today. Drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Subscribe for more FC25 videos. We'll drop some extra uploads as we get more info as we get closer to the game. And it's almost time, guys. We are literally just over a month away before full-on FC25 hype, squad building, 
beta, web app, all that early release talk. We're almost there, man. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this one again, drop a thumbs up on it, and I will see you guys in the video tonight. It's been the Faithful Count. See you there. Peace. Out.